Writing content for another website or for another business or for another blog is what is called guest posting. Guest posters, you know, they write content or they share content on another website for various reasons, which could be to drive more traffic to their own website, to increase their domain authority through backlinks, and to also increase their credibility, relevance, and authority in the industry or to increase the credibility of their brand and also it could just be to develop robust connection with thought leaders in a particular sector or in the particular niche or in a particular field welcome back to my channel this is francis easy and i'm all about teaching you how to make money online and also giving you information ideas on things that surround making money online and if this is your first time coming to this channel you are super welcome and if you're a returning viewer you're also very much welcome and i would indulge you to like this video and if you are seriously interested in making money online then go ahead to subscribe and smash that bell notification so that whenever i drop content like this you don't get to miss out okay Guest post is actually a win-win situation both for the guest poster or the guest blogger and also the website that is going to host this content. And in this video, I'm going to actually, you know, give you in details the important things that you need to know about guest posts. We are going to be touching or we are going to be, you know, looking at important factors or important angles or important things you need to really look at when guest posting comes up okay and so without taking much of your time let's get right into it the first thing is or the first um, angle is why is guest posting important for your business that's a question you, you should ask yourself before you start guest posting what, why is guest posting important to your business? And I'm going to give you the answer to that. For any business, guest posting has lots and lots of advantages. You may pos it will help you to position yourself as an authority in your sector, in your niche, in your field. And it also brings you credibility. It also gives you opportunity to get new audience that are quite different from the audience you already have. So it gives you opportunity to assess new audience, get new subscribers, get new followers, get new leads, get new clients, and get new customers or new buyers. That's one of the advantages of guest posting. And also, guest posting could actually get you paid. You could actually get paid to guest post, okay? And it also helps you to, you know, contribute to other businesses because when you put out guest posts to other websites, they themselves they benefit because they it helps them give their audience you know new angle to whatever thing they discuss so that the audience don't get easily you know tired about a particular way they present their content so guest post add varieties to the presentation of content to this particular um audience of a particular blog or website or business so guest post is actually very very profitable both for the person doing the guest posting and also for the website or the publisher's website or blog. Okay. The next point is how do I get started with guest posting? Because not just coming up with the idea of you want to guest post, how do you actually get started? First and foremost, ensure that you have clear objectives on what you want to achieve by guest posting. What are those things that you could want to achieve? You want to achieve credibility. You want to build, you know, author brand authority. You want to, you know, gain domain authority and rank better on the search engine. You want to get enough backlinks. You want to get enough leads. These are very good objectives. Make sure that you have clear outlines of what you want to achieve guest posting. That's the first step of you getting started with guest posting. The second one is look for websites and blogs and businesses that are in the same sector and the same niche with you 
But most importantly, make sure that they are not in direct competition with you or with the angle at which you express your content or, or at which you address your audience. Make sure you avoid, in as much as, as they are in the same sector or niche with you, make sure that you avoid direct competition. Then the next step on how you can get started with guest, guest posting is go do thorough research actually. You need to conduct thorough research because it's no longer news that there are so many spam content out there on the internet and it's your work to make sure that you are creating original content as a guest poster and also is your work as the publisher to make sure that you do deep research to make sure that whatever content you are going to put out on your website or blog is not spam content okay so that's taken care of the next point is what to consider before suggesting to guest post so before you go ahead to choose a particular platform to guest post on and to you know to send your content as a contributor as a guest author there are some points or there are some factors you need to consider before you send out your article or your content to be published on another site because if you don't consider these factors you may end up backstabbing yourself and these factors are first and foremost do this blog have enough followers or do this business have enough followers enough subscribers enough um, individuals or viewers that actually interact with their content in several ways that once they once that once a particular content drops on that website or business these followers or subscribers or viewers go as much as you know liking the content subscribing commenting getting that content busy and quality enough to rank on the search engine platform do that particular business or website have such audience then secondly do they maintain other social media accounts where they regularly share content from their blog because that's extra exposure that's extra traffic that's extra opportunity for you to get quality backlinks get quality audience get new traffic to your own website or blog do they have this? Do they have other social media accounts? Very important question. Then the next one is, do their domain authority rank very well? You could actually check a site or, or a blog's domain authority by going to websiteseochecker.com or rf.com. You could actually find out. If their domain authority or domain ranking is not that good enough, then you shouldn't get exposed there because you will end up sending backlinks from a domain that is not quite reputable when it comes to the search engine rating and that way automatically you are sending wrong signal from your own domain through the backlinks to the search engine algorithm that your site is also not a good quality site it's not tracking high because you're getting backlinks from a site that doesn't have good domain ranking so make sure that for you to consider to, for you to get exposed make sure that the site or the website or the business that you are posting or you are dropping your post on has good domain ranking and authority. Okay. The next one is, are these business or blogs or publisher in the same niche and field with you? It cannot be, you cannot be a digital marketer. Meanwhile, you are, you are guest posting on, on, on a business or on a site or in a blog where they talk about auto repairs. You cannot do that except you're talking about this true marketing of auto repairs except that but if it's just purely auto repair content i say this two marketer you cannot be just posting there okay because that's not right then the next important point is how do you find guest posts like how do you find websites or blogs to guest post on very very important how do you find this there are so many keywords you could actually put out there online and you get list of sites that accept guests or contributors content but let me make it quite easy for you let's take an let's take for example you're a cyber security analyst and you want to search for businesses and websites or blogs where you can actually send your article and guest post this is what you do just head on to google and type in the you, you type in a certain keyword plus the keyword of the content of of the niche you are writing on let's do it this way 
if you are looking for websites to get posts on as a cyber security analyst then this is what you do once you get to google type blog post on cyber security guest posting on cyber security once you do this you're going to see a list of websites or companies or business that accept posts from contributors and from guests on their platform then aside that you could also check out or you could also search seeking guest content for cyber security or for cyber security analyst so whichever way if you are working if you are a digital marketer you could actually search something like writing for us slash this to marketing so whatever whatever niche you want to write on make sure you are using certain keywords like blog post guest posting seeking guest content once you put out all these keywords add the keyword of the niche or the sector that you want to write on and it's going to give you list of websites or blogs that accept those contents so you could now go on to check on their domain ranking check out the ones that have domain authority have enough followers just like i've mentioned earlier and now you, you could go on to read their guest posting policies and submit your content and proposals okay then the last point in this guest posting topic today is simple ideas to assist you to improve your guest posting approach because guest posting is not just something that you just come up to do. There are strategy you, you could apply to succeed very well in your guest posting experience. And I'm going to list five of them to so pay very close attention. The first one is create a brief, unambiguous auto bio. This is very important because you will always attach a link to either your social media handle or to, or to your website or to your blog. So have a, a very simple and direct autobiography because for every article you write, you are demanded to write a, a little bit about yourself, probably put your, your picture, your name, your name of your website, and where you are an expert on maybe cybersecurity, digital marketing, or anything. So have a bio that is quite simple and unambiguous so that your readers, or the new traffic or the new audience can easily assess your link from that your auto bio and get to your website and all that because oftentimes you may not get to put some links on the body of the content so having a very good bio is one of the strategy that will actually sell you faster through your guest posting the next one is when writing a guest post try to include at least one internal link to a prior blog post that belongs to that company or to that website or to that blog. This shows that you actually did your research. I remember you're also sending them internal links from that particular post, which is going to, which is going to be on their website. You're sending, you're connect, you are attaching another link that will lead to another post in their own website. And that way it shows more, it, it increases their domain ranking that's another, that's another point you have to consider in improving your guest posting approach, okay? Then the next one is each post should be finished with a call to action. It doesn't make sense to just write a guest post and just, you know, hang it there. Let there be call to action to the readers, to the viewers, to the traffic, to take a certain action, maybe to share the content or the comment or to comment or to ask questions. Very important because it will engage the content and it will easily rank on the search engine platform. Then the next point is utilize your own social media channels to promote your guest posts. Once you drop, once your guest post is already published, then go ahead to share the content on your social media platform to get your own audience to go on to read this content and also share it amongst them, their friends. That way you are creating more, you are, you are, you are building the quality of both the publisher's website or blog and also to yours. Remember, this content in this particular publisher's platform has backlinks or have backlinks to your own blog. And that's very important. You are building serious author domain authority. Okay. Then the last but not the least is use Google Analytics to track your performance. 
over a certain period of time. So whenever you drop um, guest articles or guest posts and all that, make sure that you are tracking the success. How do how do audience or how do subscribers or how do readers interact with this content? This is going to give you an insight on what works best, so that when next you are creating another guest post, you know how to attack it or you know the angle to come in, knowing fully well that from your analytics, cause um, customers or readers or the audience resonates more with this angle as opposed to this other one. So these five things are the are the are the, are the very important factor or ideas that will assist you to improve your guest posting strategy or approach. So with this point I've mentioned in these videos, you actually get started with your guest posting strategy and actually come out successful. And these points are the things you really need to consider, which are why is guest post important to you? How do you get started with guest posting? What to consider before suggesting to guest post for a particular blog or business and how to find blogs or websites to guest post on last but not the least simple ideas to assist you to improve your guest post approach or strategy so with this point you could, you could actually have a wrap around what guest posting is all about how to get started how to improve your strategy how to become successful and how to actually make it beneficial to both your business and to the publisher's business so with this point just Get started with the guest post. It's not actually that difficult. Follow these steps the way I've listed them and you're going to come out so successful. And having been with me in this video up to this moment, thank you so much. And if you're getting good quality, go ahead to, or good value rather, go ahead to like this video, subscribe and smash that bell notification icon so that whenever I drop good content like this, you don't get to miss out. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.